Pins Knitters, this is Kristen Tendike, and I'm here today with the Cordage Pullover and I am going to tell you about how this sweater is constructed seamlessly from the top down with a really fun set in sleeve sort of construction. This sweater begins by working the shoulder tabs from the shoulder out to about here on both sides. One side is held while the other side is being worked and then both sides are placed on stitch holders. The front stitches and the back stitches are picked up along the edges of the shoulder saddles and they're both worked separately from the shoulders down, whoops, just to the underarm. There is some shaping worked in here for the body, some increases to shape the armhole. And then at the underarm, the back and the front are joined and worked in the round down, from the underarm down to the hem. You can see the beautiful waist shaping that's worked in the ribbing. And the pattern instructions tell you exactly how to do this, how, when to decrease, in what direction, etc., etc. Here is a look at the back. You can see that for the neck shaping, one side is worked. Ow! Some stitches are cast on for the back neck and then the other side there are held stitches and those stitches are worked before the whole back is worked from the neck down to the underarms. The sleeves begin by picking up stitches around the armhole from down here up and around, working the held stitches for the shoulder tab and then working, uh, picking up stitches around the rest to have all the stitches on a circular needle or a double pointed needle. And then the sleeve cap is shaped with short rows by working up here, going back and forth, adding a little bit on each end just to give a little bit of extra height to the, the sleeve cap. It makes it a little bit more of a flattering fit and comfortable as it curves over the top of your shoulders. Um, the sleeve is then worked in the round in whatever method you enjoy working in the round on small circumferences. I like double pointed needles. Um, so you work from underarm down to the sleeve cuff. It's windy here today. And there are some decreases here under the sleeve too um, to shape the sleeve. They're pretty too. There's a little bit of ribbing worked down at the cuff. And the beautiful cable pattern is worked down the center of the sleeves with the broken ribbing on the edges to match the body. When the sweater, body, and sleeves are all finished, then the neckband stitches are picked up and worked around in a 2x2 two two ribbing. There are some decreases here at the center front. And there's instructions in the pattern for how to get the ribbing to line up with the cable panel up here to make sure that the knit two, purl two lines up with the stitches on the cable panel, the existing stitches in the cable panel. This sweater is worked in Quince and Company's Willet yarn. It is a beautiful cotton yarn, and I think this sweater would also look great in a DK weight merino for a more of a cool weather sweater. It's sized to fit between about 30 to 54 inch bust circumferences and you could work it with or without the waist shaping depending on what you prefer for your body. Um, if you wanted to add some length you could do it by increasing some of the rows in here um, or up here before the waist shaping starts. You could work a little bit extra here, a little extra here. If you wanted to shorten it then you could just work a few ex um, a few less rows here or a few less rows here. Um, or I guess you could always add rows at the bottom too if you needed to lengthen down there. So if you are a member of TKGA, you have access to this pattern on the Cast On Magazine website's archive. It is also available on kristentendike.com for individual pattern download. You can get it on Ravelry or Lovecrafts, and I think it's on Etsy. I'll make sure. If you enjoyed this video and you like learning about how sweaters are constructed seamlessly, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting. Bye.